Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy X All James Water. So we can press the triangle button now and actually see more shit. So you you can change the music to original and from arranged. So if you're not liking the arranged soundtrack, you can, you can swap it right back to original. You can keep the subtitles on or off. You can change your name, display speaker's name and subtitles. Okay, so cursor, I'm gonna change it from default to memory. Okay, Aeons, default, Aeon sequence, default or short. I am gonna change it to short. I just, I don't want to see because the default enemy, the default sequences for the Aeons are too long. So I'm just gonna keep it short. Map on, vibration off, <laughs> vibration. All right, so that's my setup for that. If you go to items and you go to uh, equipment, this is where you can see uh, all of your equipment. So you can go to manual and you'll see that our long sword has no abilities and our buckler has no abilities, but you see we can add stuff, right? Uh, this means we can add something to the buckler, but we can't really do anything right now. And we have 12 potions and three phoenix sounds. All right, so that's what we have right now. Now we're not gonna go to the next area until we get all the items first. Okay, right now I'm just right now I'm just swimming up here. Okay, this is the first place we want to go to. Just take a look on the radar. I'm at the far right side. Okay, so this is like an Albed thing, but we need to get Albed primers, and we need an achievement for this as well. So it says something is written here, and it's written in in Albed, which is a different language in this game. So right now we don't understand what, what anything do says have here. Nope, can't read it because we don't have any Albed primers to learn the language. So we need to find those first. Now, behind that is gonna be a treasure chest. So we're gonna click this and we're gonna get 200 gil. Okay, so that's gonna bring our gil right up to 500. All right, so I'm swimming to the west side here now. And we're gonna, here's another, it says introduction to Albed. Find Albed primers to help you decipher the strange Albed language. All right, so that, that bottom part is written in their, in their language. Albed? Compilation sphere. Use previously, use previously saved Albed primer data to synthesize a new Albed primer. But we can't cross this little bridge here and get another treasure chest. And this is going to give us two potions. Okay, so another thing I want to show you guys is pressing the escape button here on PC. We can select some options here, right? So let me go to change parameters perimeters do not get any of this stuff okay i think if you do, if you do select this i don't think you get the achievements for it so unless you're just playing this game for fun then sure go ahead and do whatever you want but if you're following this guide do not get this shit special special features okay so this is the special features for pc we have turbo which is press one to activate so what this does is what i've showed you before this uses the function to speed up the game up to two to four times unfortunately though it does not affect the the player input and menus and cutscenes slash fmv so now press f2 is going to characters will be supercharged automatically so this is a cheat and we don't want to select this so never press f2 we don't we don't want to automatically make our character supercharged okay so enemy encounter override Increase or decrease enemy encounter. So this is actually useful. So if you want to uh, increase the amount of enemy encounters, you can press F3. But if you also want to decrease them, you can press F3. So let's see, let's give an example of that right now. You'll see in the top, the sword is red. Now if I press it again, the sword, see how it cancels that? And then if I press it again, it's normal. So red sword at the bottom is telling you it means hold on it means enemy encounters are frequent so this means that you're gonna get enemy encounters more often now f3 again means enemy encounters none so when we get that little symbol there it means that there's no enemy encounters we can free freely run around the map without worrying about any enemies then we press f3 again and it's just normal encounter that's what that does when you press f4 it's gonna be auto battle so characters will fight using AI. So if you're at a point in a game where you can grind without worrying about anything, you can uh, just turn auto battle on and just let your characters do all the work. However, when you're grinding for spheres to max your grid, auto battle is not gonna be very useful because I, I actually have a fast method to grind for grids and it's gonna be using Waka, the best character in the game by far, the strongest character in the game by far is Waka. And then F5 is just gonna hide the user interface, so that's that. So we have system settings where you can change your, since this is on PC, we can change what our graphics to be. 
So I have a I have a 1440p monitor, which is a 2K resolution. So that's why I'm playing on resolution 2560 by 1440. And uh, my V-Sync is off because that's terrible. You never want V-Sync. And then I just have everything else on max graphics. Because this game only is capped at 30 FPS, so not much you can do about that. And there's key bindings where you can change your keys. But I'm just using a PS4 controller, so whatever. So the main keys that we want to use are F1 for speeding and F3 for turning encounters um, frequent or off. Okay, so like we have everything in this area right now, so what we're gonna do now is proceed to the next area here. So all we have to do is go up these stairs here and proceed forward until we, until we reach that little red arrow that takes us right to the next part of the map. Now we finally have a save, so let's save our game. Okay, with the game saved, we are gonna proceed up and there's one treasure chest that we can get in this area. I think it's over here. You know, I'm gonna speed this up just a little bit. I think we're actually gonna start getting random encounters now too, so be ready for that. It's either now or sh very soon that we start getting random encounters. Here we go, next scene. Okay, so this is easy. All we have to do is cut through, as usual, until the boss comes. Now the boss is, um, we automatically lose this battle, so yeah. So all we're just gonna do here is attack and just let the boss kick our ass because there's no winning this battle right now at this point in the game. So we've been ambushed by the boss here, and he is going to kick our ass. Don't heal. As you can see, we do have one high potion, 14 potions, and whatever. Do not heal. Just fast forward and just die, because we can't beat this boss right now. So we just let him. We just let him kill us. made it out of the frying pan and into the freezer. I thought I was going to die in this place. Okay guys, so if, if, if at any point you need to know where you are, press the uh, triangle button and you'll see a location in Ruins Corridor in the bottom there. So right now we are at the Ruins Corridor. Now we're going to enter the next screen and right up here. Let's see this part is blocked off, we can't go back. 
to where we came from right now at this point in the game. So we're going to have to go all the way up into this new ruined place. Need fire. <sighs> okay, so at this point we are going to start getting random encounters. So we can examine this. It says remains of campfire. So basically, we need to find flint and tinder, and then we can start another. We can start a fire here. That's our our main objective for this uh, for this place. Now I'm going to end the walkthrough here. Basically, I'm just going to save my game here, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.